There we go. It helps if I put the microphone on first. Good evening, everybody. Bear with me two seconds. Something I have forgot to load up. The loot list. Hooray. Stream time, let's go. Hello, Frenchie. Just make that a bit bigger. There you go. Should be that big enough then. How goes it? Uh, two streams in a row. Quite the anomaly. Um, this is the... We're doing a challenge run, Final Fantasy IX, uh, where we don't steal anything, and it doesn't just mean don't use steal command, it means can't open chests or pick up random items unless they're plot progressive. Uh, all items gained in battle must be solved, that's what the loot list is all about. And no chocobo hot and cold because stealing from the ground is still stealing. Good, goes works, I've another string, fantastic. Um, so, I've discovered something a little bit unusual. So, let the the JD stream historians recall that I used a tent at the end of the last stream, before I saved. And yet when I loaded up the save, just a few minutes ago, and I checked my menu... Zidane and Vivi aren't at full health and Vivi still hasn't got all his MP back. It's very strange, I don't know what's happened there. And frankly, I can't really afford to use another tent to patch it up. So we're going to have to just roll with whatever situation we found ourselves in. It's odd, but we'll be okay. They're close enough to full that it's not a problem. I do have another tent, but I don't really want to use it. I think just using two potions and just kind of both. Again, we've got a Beatrix fight coming up. Come, where all that really matters is survival. So how many Phoenix Downs have we got? Ten. Should be plenty. Uh, but yeah, let's just crack on, shall we? We've kept Beatrix waiting long enough. Coming, our beloved. So yeah, this is just another fight where all you've got to do is survive. So, take some of the stress off. We don't have to worry too much about hitting tons or anything like that. Just have to pick people up when they fall over. The trickier bit will be when we switch back to Steiner uh, in the next section because he is a far lower level than our people here. Do I want to jump now? I should keep her around in case things get nasty. Perfect. You can use Thunder Slash on Zidane all day long because he's got the Coral Ring on, which means he absorbs it. So that's two. I think she does like ten attacks. So we're just going to wait it out, I think. See, Shock's probably going to kill somebody. Yep. Yeah. I am going to pick her up, but I'm not going to waste all the Phoenix Sands like I did last time. So that's three. I'm pretty sure she does ten. So as long as we've got enough people left. Um, uh, four, but we do want Vivi up. Literally no point in healing because she can kill everybody in one hit. Five... So she should have five attacks left. If I can just tank two more, should be okay. Well, that's going to kill somebody. Freya. Six. So we need to use one more and then we should be okay. Oh, and if, even better if she does that because that's not even a wasted turn. So we should be alright now. Should. Because she should only have three attacks left. I guess we'll find out. We'll see if the maths works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's ten turns. So she should only have two more. Let's find out if the maths is right. So logical, this Beatrix. She likes things in tens. There you go, see, it's perfect. Actually, tenth is the big hit, so that's fine. So I technically used one more Phoenix Down and I needed to, but that's fine. So long, Beatrix. Take us with you. So they peace out in these teleport bubbles. 
but we're going to make use of this weird technology ourselves. Uh, but say goodbye to Queena for a little bit, Frenchie. We're not going to see Queena for a, a tiny little section now. She pieces out. She doesn't want to go in the bubbles. Luckily, Vivi is brave enough to go in the bubbles, so it's okay. Also, I apologise if I'm slightly lower energy today than normal. Uh, goodbye, Queen of Queens. Yeah, Queen of just is like, nope, I leave. Uh, apologies if I'm slightly lower energy than previously. I'm not feeling tippity top today, um, but I did want to get another stream done this weekend, so. Uh, we will make the most of this. But now we get another cool cutscene where... We get to see Odin. Odin is badass. Somehow Queena survives this, proving that Queena truly is the, uh, the most powerful person in the entire party. And there goes Gungnir. And there goes the tree. Very cool. <laughs> not cool for the Clarons, but other than that, not too bad. That smart was pure evil. I mean, she has definitely lost her way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she she gets a small speech at the well. There, it she she does have a a classic like, oh, I've been a fool all along moment, and you can choose whether that's enough for her her character arc to have earned redemption. I say no, but. And now we get Beatrix's theme, Rosa May, which is fantastic. I would learn to play piano just to be able to play this song. <laughs> uh, but Beatrix is hacked off. She doesn't think this was entirely necessary. She's not a big fan of the Queen relying on these Eidolons to conquer these places. She thinks that she could basically do it herself. Which is true. This isn't FF playthroughs with challenges. This is come vibe to FF music with us. I mean, I could have this song on repeat for a while. This is a, uh, this is a great song. Right, one thing we are going to do is we're going to unequip as much of... Well, not unequip, but we're going to level down as much of Freya's stuff as we can. Because we need... Um, do I have another Linen Curious? Uh, I mean, we don't know what happened to Queena at this point. We're just like, well, she was a fun character. Maybe she's okay. Probably not. Um, I don't have another cuirass, so that makes life a bit easier. And you don't want that. That's fine. Cool. This is where Beatrix starts to have her, uh, her change of heart. She sees that the Queen's, like, not really acting cool anymore. <laughs> I 
Oh, also, she learns here that uh, Garnet's going to be uh, Dagger's going to be executed, which doesn't sit well with uh, Beatrix for obvious reasons. And with an evil laugh at the end, just to kind of really hammer home the fact that she's lost her mind. So we're going to try and uh, shortcut our way. But first, we're going to double back on ourselves. Because there's a handy dandy Moogle that appears out of nowhere. Beatrix, I can deal with you wanting to murder the planet, but Dagger being executed? Nah, man. She hot you straight up cray cray. <laughs> That's basically what's running through Beatrix's head at the moment. Beatrix is not on board with princess murder. Which is fair. And unsurprisingly, Steiner is not A-OK -okay with it either. Right, let's go grab ourselves a shortcut. Talk to me, Vivi. There we go. In we pop. Oh, Vivi. Clumsy. But now we get momentum, physics, cage swinging, mini game. Right. Left. Right. This goes on for a while. I won't keep doing it. <laughs> so we just got to swing ourselves. Now we're thinking with portals until we get enough momentum to crash into the side. I think we can get another one in there. Definitely get on there. Swing, bada 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 swing. One more. And back. Crash. There it goes. Right now, first things first. Equip Steiner because we're about to get jumped, and Steiner is very weak, as is Marcus. Well, he's not very weak, he's just weaker. Uh... In fact, he's got some good stuff on him already. When did I give him all this stuff? Oh, well. In fact, he's actually okay. So we might... Well, his health's not great, but there's not much we can do about that. We want Man-Eater on, absolutely want Man-Eater on. Take off cover, Man-Eater. Uh, I guess... Alert. Are we going to bump into anything that runs... Maybe... Mm, I was in this section. No, let's have Bird Killer. Because Bird Killer work. Bird Killer is a strange one. Bird Killer is kind of bugged out in that it basically classifies any enemy that is flying or floating as a bird. So there's a lot of enemies that you wouldn't think it would work on that it does work on. Anywho, a punch in the face for thou. Rightio. So, Marcus, just do your best. Okay, well, you can run away. That's fine. I'm alright with that. Not okay with you doing that, though. That's alright. We can tank that. Nice. Doesn't even celebrate because he's all pissed off. That's another nice little attention to detail in the game. A level up is good. Another potion to sell. Got getting quite a few of those now. But we've got seven thousand dollar do now, so we can actually just bros murdering some uh, women. <laughs> Right, let's try that again, shall we? One for you. Yeah, very much targeting Marcus, which isn't... Oh, never mind. I 
I'm actually okay with them splitting up the damage a little bit. That's fine. Come on. Oh, well, there goes Marcus. He tried, bless him. Oh, another potion for the list. And then up, oh, Zilada. Up. He tr he tried. We'll be on Marcus's tombstone. Man, I want that on my tombstone. I feel like that kind of encapsulates a lot. Marcus just pieces out, but that's okay because we're about to get our other friends back. So I can put all of uh, Freya's stuff back on her, which is nice. She won't have to be quite so nerfed. So we start to tell Steiner that we heard that the Queen's going to execute Dagger, and he doesn't He's not quite sure what to think about that. Oh yeah, we are on the clock here though, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, Vivi. If Vivi says it, it must be true. I mean, that's basically what Steiner thinks as well. He doesn't believe Sedan, but when Vivi says it, that's good enough for him. Right, we need to get out of here, but first, let's equip Freya back with her good stuff. I know she's not learning anything off it, but we'll need it. Just check it hasn't unequipped anything. We've got Man Eater, that's good. Don't care about those. Perfect. Oniva! <coughs> Crap, gotta remember where she is. Pretty sure she's up here. Yeah. Can never remember exactly where she is on this bit, but it's fine. We'll work our way through it. Oh, Fira, don't mind if I yes. We have lost all of our healing though, unfortunately. We don't have uh, we don't have Queena with her White Wind. We don't have Dagger. We're down to potions again. Another potion for the list. So many potions that we can't use. Healing some babies, right? I'll, t I'll let you know if we need healing. Way up the stairs. I think it's this way. No, that's not right. This way. Run, 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 run. Like, they just stop chasing me if I get to the door. They're like, nah, not my job anymore. Luckily, we know exactly how to get down here. Tidy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, needlessly big and unnecessary rotating platform. So I think there is a save Moogle, but I can't remember if it's before you get into the next fight or not. I guess we'll find out. Should probably Ah, it's fine, we'll deal with it. Right, gotta take on the clown boys. Probably should have healed up Steiner a little bit before this, but it'll be fine. Also, we don't want them bouncing. Bouncing is bad. Wasn't 
wants to do again. Yeah, we don't want you to do that. Wait, focus up. Stop bouncing, you wee fex. I'll have none of that. That's alright, you're going to neutralise that in a second. So they're, they're trying to give each other meteor power, which lets them cast a pretty nasty spell, all things being honest. Ooh, a nice crit there. Good job. And we don't want them to cast meteor. That would be a bad... Yeah, you can do that all day long, it's fine. We're just going to neutralise it. Now, oh, missing is not fun though. It's alright, these two can take care of it. Well, there we go, problem solved anyway. They're not particularly hard to beat these two. As long as you know the as long as you know to kind of uh, neutralize the meteor effect. Yep. See you later, chaps. Oh wait, I should totally take this point to heal up. Uh, do I need to hit uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, one more. Right, so we're gonna try and Rescue Dagger, but it's not looking peachy at the moment. Steiner responds in a very measured manner. <laughs> Meanwhile, we get this cutscene to see that uh, Marcus did indeed manage to rescue... Well, it's going to rescue your favourite uh, blank. Blankety blank. Right. Save Moogle, eh? Don't mind if I do. Blank! <laughs> He's the hero of this game. We all know it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. We're moving on. So Dan, you should be supporting her head a little bit more than that as you're running with her. But equally impressive body strength. Right. So we've got our last fight with uh, Beatrix coming up. I'm a bit low on Phoenix Downs, which is going to be an issue. But I guess we'll hope that it's okay. And by hope it's okay, I mean... God, I hope it's okay. How many have we got? Six. Oh, we should just be okay. It'll be okay, JD. It's up. Her heart's not in it anymore. Well, if only uh, her heart was in it just a little bit less. So yeah, Stein is now like having this, nah, this, it, this isn't right anymore. So rather than escaping, we're going to let her have a nap because that's considerate. And the sad music's playing, so you know it must be a serious moment. Oh, clown boys! Beatrix! Thank goodness this is the last time we have to fight. We should be on the same team! If only she could just look across and see the daggers there, this would all be 
not even an issue, but we have to kind of go through this palaver. We have to play this game. You know what, I'm going to attack you just for shits and gigs. Well, that's what we get for attacking it. I'm hoping I can possibly damage boost through some of the turns, but I don't think I can. Oh, for God's sake. Leave Freya alone! <laughs> oh, I'm getting through so many Phoenix Downs. No, not Steiner. He does the hitties. How many had taxes she had? Three? I feel like it was three. Because she killed Freya twice and Steiner once. Hey, that's alright. We'll take that, though. No, oh, we don't need that, though. So that's five, I think. Perfect! That is exactly the person I wanted you to use that on. Very considerate of you. Thank you. Oh, come on. Could do without a miss there. Oh, wow, that worked out very nicely. You're right, her heart's not in it. Oh, wait, her heart is in it. Although, you can use a turn curing yourself, that's fine. That's one of your turns used up. That'll do nicely. Oh, not our boy Vivi! Although, I think that's the end of her... No, is it? Mm. She's got to be close to the end now. Well, we need to hope she's close to the end. Oh, thank God she was close to the end. <laughs> yeah, she could kill you, but instead she heals herself. I mean, that's how confident she is. She's just like, I could kill. I could take as long as I need to kill you. But we forgive her. And her theme comes back. Hooray! Oh look! Over there! Where you could have seen her the entire fight. So Beatrix and Steiner decide that, yeah, enough's enough. And Beatrix is going to use her paladin power now to try and heal up Dagger, which is nice of her. And as usual, it's the rule of three. Second time, nope, no good. But the third time, the Goldilocks principle. There it goes. How are you feeling? Peachy. Meanwhile... So... <laughs> it's okay if the Queen engages in genocide, but she dares talk bad about Dagger, you say? REVOLUTION! <laughs> I mean, good enough for me, really. Beatrix has gone full renegade. So we're going to leave those two to take care of business. For a little, little bit at least. Luckily we get to fight as... Uh, Beatrix here, she's got some dope spells, <laughs> some dope abilities. I 
And we're going to use every single one of them. Unless you cast Thunderer. Which is annoying. Thunder Slash! Miss? Fuck no. I've never seen that miss. Well, we're going to go back to it. The girl scored back again. Throwing Beatrix if only Queen was there too. I know, right? We're just That's the one thing we're missing out on here. There we go. Damn, Beatrix is so cool. Uh, gained a Phoenix down. Add it to the list. Man, we need to find a shop soon. Oh, one. We're almost at 10 grand now. Oh, hold on. Uh, luckily, everybody's been healed up after that fight, so that's good. What? Tagger, you're so weak compared to everybody else. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it in a literal, you're like, your level is terrible kind of way. Still learning shell. Okay, not gonna lie. I was finishing some photo edits for a client tomorrow morning. I looked over and what the hell is that thing? <laughs> no, that's a cool bunny rabbit dog thing. It, it uses a lick attack to make you go to sleep. Ah, the other side. That's the one. It's cool. It's cute. It's called a bandersnatch. Look at it. It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's a bunny dog. It's cute. Unless it kills me, in which case it can burn in hell. We've also got these fellas to deal with. That's the thing I see at the foot of my bed when I have sleep paralysis. <laughs> Poor bunny dog thing. Seems a tad unnecessary. Stop it. Thundara, eh? Well, that wasn't very nice. That thing reminds me of the only Full Metal Alchemist scene I can remember, the Chimera thing. I haven't seen any Full Metal Alchemist, to be honest, so I, I, I'm afraid I can't. I can neither confirm nor deny any similarities. Should be on my to do list, really. And chop! Good job. That scene is traumatizing. There are no other words for it. I believe you. Woo! Lots of levels. No items either. That's good. And we've broken the 10,000 mark. That's good. Um, can you use cure on everybody? You can. Perfect. That'll do nicely. 10k baby! That helps us out a lot, because more money equals more shopping. <gasps> Fluffy bunnykins! I'm going to keep it as a pet. Two Fluffy bunnykins! Ugh, oh, it really is Christmas. Now, that's a bad Fluffy bunnykins. We don't do that. We do that outside. Oh, thank God that didn't work. That tongue move is what puts people to sleep, and it is difficult to deal with. I'm going to keep you on healing. There are two... Burn the self-place, Jenny. Stop the earth and remove it from history. The fluffy bunnikins! No, I've had to kill one! Oh, that hurt. No, I don't want to hurt the fluffy bannikins. Oh. We're going to end up with a little animal graveyard at this rate. Oh, we're getting some good levels for Dagger to try and catch it back up, though. Oh, God, more things. So, or times one, and another two Phoenix Downs. Oh, no, they're dead. How terrible. Anyway, you just don't appreciate animals, Frenchie. I think that's the only th only conclusion I can come to here. Uh, cure you and cure you. 
I will not hear a bad word said against these fluffy bunnykins. Next squeeze. <laughs> <coughs> so Steiner has a, uh, a thought that he should really be going back and helping the other ladies with the fights. So we're going to get Vivi and Dagger out of here. And he's going to go back and help the other two. He's going to go look after more fluffy bunnykins. Fluffy bunnykins! I'm sure you and my trade of animals. That sounded very threatening when you said that. I don't think the RSPCA would appreciate that kind of terminology. No! I can't. He's not here. Hold on. I'll have to get to a section where I can save and I'll have to go find him. I don't even know where he is at the moment. Oh, that was that was cruel, Frenchy. I mean, not for the cat. It was lovely for the cat, but cruel. All those points you've been saving up. <laughs> Come to fruition at last. Well, your boy Vivi just murdered another Fluffy Bunnykins. He is a merciless killer. Alright, another Phoenix down for the list. God damn, we've got a lot of things to sell. Still got 15k? Oh, Jesus. Right, there's no point where I can stop. So, But as soon as I can stop, I will go and grab the cat wherever he's gone. And, uh... I'll get him uh, patched up with a with a lovely treat. Has there got the bag of treats in here somewhere? I have. Okay, good. Fortunately, we've got to get rid of these two fluffy bunnykins first of all. Oh, that's terrible ATB as well. I think you've got... I'm going to just Klimazard these things to death, haven't we? Of course, murder the atrocities first, then treat the boy. <laughs> See how, look how strong Beatrix is. Beatrix is a beast. Stop giving me things. Okay, up to six Phoenix Downs now. And two ores. Yeah, Beatrix is like a boss, you know? Come on, Steiner, come and join the party. No wonder she was walking away from fights. That was kind. That was a kindness. Yeah, exactly. She was like, I could have decapitated all of you, but I've left you on one HP instead. So this shouldn't be a thing. Depending on ATBs. In fact, let's get her to do that again. Do it again. Shop. Damn, Beatrix. <laughs> Copy paste, let's go. Yeah, we unfortunately we only get to use her in two sections of the game, so you kind of got to make the most of. Stop giving me things! You've got to make the most of her abilities while you've got them. Uh, and another ore. Well, we've got a lot of things to sell and a lot of money. Oh, yeah, the game always does this as well. You hear the overlapping music there? I don't know why, it does it every time. It's so strange, but it does end soon. It's, I know it sounds awful. I don't know why it does it, but every time I play this game, it's, this little section is awful. I, I can't even figure out why it does it, but we'll be out of here soon. Don't worry. It's like a bar behind playing at the same time. It's terrible. So it's not even like a, uh, like a round going on. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait, how are we looking health-wise? Uh, we're fine. Make it stop, 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 make it... Oh yeah, we've got to get through all this first. And back again. It's like being in a nightclub that has two rooms and you're exactly... That's exactly what it sounds like when your ears are trying to like tune into two different songs at the same time. And they're so obnoxiously loud that you can't really do anything but listen to both of them. I think it stops now. I know one keeps going for some reason. But yeah, look, we say blank. Blank's alive. Blankety blank's back. Blankety blank. Back to, back to be the best. Blank! Hmm. 
<laughs> I never forget you, Blank, with your stupid name and such. Yes, as you can see, the music has sorted itself. Oh no, spoke too soon. It, it freaks out again now. <laughs> Let's get out of here indeed, Zidane. I've never agreed with you more. But now it sounds okay. So we're going to hop on board this thing. And remember that weird um, worm snakey thing we had to fight in the tunnel last time? Ah, uh, hop. And uh, Dagger still hasn't learned her lesson. Yeah, she goes to go pet it again. Except this one's slightly different. This one's more vicious. Oh, is it really going to keep both musics playing at the same time? Man, that's just terrible. In fact, hold on. I'm going to turn the game music down because that is awful. So we'll do this in silence because I sh you shouldn't both have to suffer with what I'm going through at the moment. <laughs> I'll tell you how bad it sounds. Awful. Oh, wait, I think it sorted itself out. I'm going to hope that it sorted itself out. I think it's okay now. Okay, that's a bad. Little tiny mini BB! Right, so now we don't want to hit him. That's the That's the trick here. Uh, no point doing anything just yet. I wonder if I can Soul Blade him. <laughs> the baby is extra baby. <laughs> there we go, we can do it. Right, BB, you keep focusing for the time being. <coughs> I can't remember what this thing's weak to. It's either Fire or Blizzard. I seem to remember. Hit it again! You coil up. One more focus from my boy. Wait and see if he uncurls. So focus is basically boosting his magic power. So the next time I cast a spell... Well, from now on when I... Oh, I did it on the wrong character. From now on when I cast spells, it'll be going super duper. Whoops, I did that the wrong way around. That's fine. So I wasn't paying attention there, so this could just be a little bit dangerous. Let's see what he does. Because I can't remember what he does here. Earth power. We should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Just cure all. Unless you do... Oh, thank God that missed. That would have been really bad if that hit. I think he's weak against... Mm, I'm going to try Blizzara on him. Oh, a nice crit as well. Good job. He goes from Earth Power, Mighty Magic to Stab. Yeah, he has a whole kind of smorgasbord of tricks. Go on, tiny little VV. Mm, I didn't do as much as I wanted it to do. We'll try fire next. Come on. Uncoil. There you go. So yeah, this just becomes a bit of a repeating pattern where he just kind of makes himself all curled up and what have you. Is that blocking? Is it reducing all damage? Yeah, I think it might be actually. 
So I could just play the waiting game, just keep bouncing forth between Zidane attacking and just waiting. Hit it again! Ah, chop! I would have thought magic would have got through that being coiled up, because you wouldn't think that would do that much, but hey ho. Wait it out. And good this isn't this isn't a speed run, although it's supposed to be very, very slow. Hit it. Oh a nice crit as well. Good job. He's obviously in touch with when he's wrapped up. Yeah. It's, it's a foolish thing of me to think that magic would circumvent something just being in a different shape. That's alright. We can just play the long game here. No openings whatsoever. He's an impenetrable force field. There we go. He's dead. Oh, VV pops back to normal size. Couldn't keep pocket VV forever. Hey, they learnt a few things. And we've got two ethers. Well, I'll add that to the list. Ether time, way times two. Running out of space on the loot list. <laughs> Wrap up now, boy. <laughs> up to <coughs> 14k. <coughs> Excuse me. He's <laughs> like, so, hey, hurry up. Hey, it worked. See, shouting at things does work. Oh no, wait. Other issues. He's back! He's not curling up anymore. So we overshoot our stop. Which seems problematic. So yes, we have a we have to just keep going now until the thing gets bored. Get the, the free uh, roller coaster ride. That felt so Scooby Doo like. Oh, very that was a very Scooby Doo like comedy moment. So here we also get introduced to uh, two other characters, one of whom will become a party member in the future. Unfortunately, it's not the hot one. And they were never seen again. That was the end of their journey. So just to kind of completely seal ourselves into the I'm a, I'm a bad person now uh, rhetoric, uh, Queen Bran is going to hire two assassins to go and uh, take care of Dagger. This is Lani. And the big fella at the back is uh, Armorant. Sadly, out of the two, we end up with Armorant as a party member. You know that big boy, exactly. He ends up being a party member. He is more hair than face. And more neck than body. He also doesn't like stairs. Also, it seems he has some sort of personal beef with Zidane as well. So it's really like a two-for-one deal for him. ha 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 To seal the uh, evil intent. Because they're off somewhere. Meanwhile, guess what? We're not dead. Hooray! I was in 15 year olds with this haircut. Yeah, I know, he was ahead of his time, you know, man. 
Armor and setting trends way in advance. So we have to do this whole uh, extended idolon pleasing exercise. But luckily, because we're not picking up all the treasure, it shouldn't take too long. But what I might do... Yes, Frenchy Eidolons. <laughs> um, so, we are... We're going to just try and get uh, convince Ramu that we're a good person. Uh, so that's Ramu. Uh, Ramu is a as an idolon. He's a summon, but he basically wants to test that uh, Dagger is worthy of using his abilities again. And we're going to prove that we are worthy. Damn it! See, now he's in badass form. And each one of them is going to tell us a story because that's a, like a nice thing for an elderly gentleman to do. That's the ultimate final moustache boss. Yeah, I mean, it's one hell of a moustache. But what we're going to do is we'll just grab the first one because it's literally here. I wonder where beginning goes in the order. We're going to save here. Because a lot has happened. Still can't sell anything, but that's fine. Everyone knows beginning is last. On it, obviously. What kind of story structures have I been working with? Uh, but I'm going to take a quick break there. So I'll be back in like two minutes, guys. So uh, chat amongst yourselves. Back in a tick.
Okay, let's do this. Where's my loot list gone? There it is. So I feel like that'll be added to because we can get into fights around here. Oh wait, I should check that if they've learned anything from all those ordeals. You have, but there's no point changing it. <coughs> um, not worth changing back for that, it's very weak. Still learning. No. Coral ring you're done on. Maybe we should see if anybody else is... Yeah, let's... Let's just sort those out a little bit. Still learning that, still learning. Really nothing better than that? Uh, let's see, still learning, that's fine. You can learn... Cool, okay, so that's good. Good opportunity for us to see if there's anything you need to learn. You can learn Beast Killer off that. Well, that's fine, because you haven't learned that yet. You can learn Insomniac off that. You can't learn anything off that, but that's fine. Right. Uh, we'll have Beast Killer. Perfect. You don't have anything else. That's fine. Okay, we're good. All right, let's go find the rest of them. You make every part of housekeeping look so easy. I mean, it's only because, like, I've done this game a lot. And I know most of the various bits and pieces I need. Right, where are the other ones? There's one here. Uh, where is the other one? He's down here. And the last one, I believe, is up here. How's your brain retain all this info? God knows. If I knew, if I knew how to act actively teach my brain to retain info, I'd do it for way more useful things than Final Fantasy IX. Have I missed one? Yeah, not yet. Where is the other one? Brain, help me out. See, it hasn't retained all this info. It's forgotten one of them. Where the hell is the other one? Oh, I have to go back to the start. Of course, he's right at the very beginning. That's okay. We can put that on the... Uh... Never mind, he's dead. Should have remembered this one right at the very start. That's on me. There you go, let's beast clean out. Another echo screen, something else to add to the list. Echo screen times one. Right. Need to be careful now, so we have to start shrinking the loop list. You forgot one tiny different from a game you played years ago and remembered it after 20 seconds. You're not impressive at all. <laughs> I try my best. I mean, that's part of the reason why, like, whenever I choose to do a challenge run, it's normally to do with Final Fantasy, because I've just played these games to absolute buggery, so... A lot of it's just muscle memory. Now we're done. Let's see, so... Uh, they headed for a cabin in the snowfield. Uh, yeah, cooperation, then silence, and then human. Because it doesn't matter what you choose for the last one. Once upon a time, blah de blah de blah. With Joseph's help, they did the doobie doo. On the way home, they fell into a trap. That's a thingy. And then there's a square lotion. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. So basically, it gives you a choice of two different ways to end the story. But ultimately, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, he'll still agree to go with you anyway. <coughs> so now she can start to learn it. If you need to add him on this time, because I'll keep in track as well. Fantastic. I can always rely on you, Frenchie. Well, I think we do get to a cellar fairly quick now. So I don't think we have any more fights between here and the next cellar. So we should be all right. We can clear our, our, uh, our loot list in just a second. All right, let's boogie. Get another nice cutscene here. Well, it's a, it's a visually visually uh, interesting, good 
cutscene. Not that good things happen in the cutscene. Bad things happen in the cutscene, but you know. So this is uh, Limblum we're heading back to. Oh yeah, bad things happen. In in Final Fantasy IX, I know, it's shocking. Hold on to your Vivi, folks. Ironically, Vivi's actually one of the few that doesn't get in the way of this. But yes, uh, Snell Alexandra is attacking Limblum. And Vivi finally catches a break, yeah. <laughs> Making it the best cutscene, yeah. Don't open. Black Mage is inside. So yeah, things aren't going well for Limblum. Yeah, well, again, they're more kind of like stylistic choices for the guards' outfits. Yeah, it's <laughs> try not to try not to analyze that too much. This cutscene is good as well with them running through the grass. That's Atmos. That's another summon, another Idolon. So, uh, yeah, all those uh, slightly questionable guards are getting dragged into a big whirlwind tummy. Oh no! <laughs> it's bad. This has not gone well for anybody involved. But luckily there is a shop here, so we can go sell all our stuff and buy some new kicks. Except Vivi, I'm sure he's having a great old time. I mean, he's fell over, he's, he's only just caught up with them to be fair. But yeah, we tell him to hide because he looks like a black mage and obviously that could be problematic considering the city's just been attacked by them. Uh, right, let's go. Oh no, first things first. You need that. So you can start learning Ramu. We're very, very unlikely to use him, but uh, it's fine. I don't know if we can actually get through the back here with all the debris in the way. Oh no, we can. So obviously things aren't going smashingly. Alexandrian occupation and all that. We want to go shopping. Uh, so we know that Regent Sid's alive. No, I wanted to go shopping. I've got so many things to sell. No. We'll go shopping in a minute. <laughs> I know your city is dying, but how about we help stimulate the economy? You know. Got Gil burning a hole in our pocket. And some items that we're returning for a finder's fee. Oh, also, they found Vivi. <coughs> Who's being treated like a criminal. Poor old Vivi. So, here we start to learn about... Uh, 
He fell 360. Yeah, when VV falls, he falls with style. Um, so we're learning more about Kuja now. Um, and we know that Kuja came from a different continent. Uh, so we decide that we're going to try and take out Kuja instead. But we don't know how to get to the other continent. Uh, so we're learning. We, we haven't got an airship. We haven't got a boat. We're a bit out of options. So you learn Kudra is the immigrant citizen and the others are going to take him out. I mean, it's basically... They predicted the UK. <laughs> Good old UK. Yay. Um, we're going to head for a swamp. Where we think there might be a tunnel to the other continent. And do you know what else we find in swamps? Queena! We get our girl back. Hey, you're just going to give us some money? Fantastic. Also, we didn't steal it. He gave it to us. Queena, 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 Queena! <laughs> Yep, let's go buy some stuff. Well, let's go sell some stuff first. So let's clear this loot list that's getting ridiculously long. Right, what we got? So we need to sell uh, seven potions. Uh, one anointment. Where is that? There it is. Uh... One high potion. One remedy. Eight Phoenix Downs. Oh god, we need to buy some Phoenix Downs. Three ores. That's all of them. Two ethers. And one echo screen. Okay, there we good. Was that a Beatrix soldier with pants? Uh, which way? Okay, hold on. I've clicked on something here. I didn't mean to click on. In fact, let's get back off that screen before I accidentally click on anything else. There we go. Uh, this. Clear it, please. Uh, yes, it seems this one. Wasn't sure what the weather was going to be like in, in uh, Limblum, so wore trousers. Good on you, love. They're obviously uh, trying to maintain a degree of professionalism. Right. Uh, she's a brunette. That was entirely the difference, yeah. I mean, it could be as simple as that. It's like, what colour? What, what's your hair colour, brunette? Okay, you can wear the trousers. That's fine. <coughs> so maybe you already know Spira. So maybe if I get... The lightning stuff, he can start to learn uh, Thunderer, Thundara, which is good. Uh, don't need any of those, that's fine. The Ice Brand for Steiner could be useful when he comes back. Wait, how long is it till we see Steiner now? I think it's quite a ways. Maybe we can get away without buying him something just now. We will buy you... A new thingy. Yes, this is a good chance to get some things here. So let's get two of those. I think a major's hat for you. Oh, I want some Mithril Vest. Let's get three. That's going to be expensive, but that's fine. Cool. Let's see how that's looking on us. No point doing anything with that. Auto Potion. That's kind of useful. I guess. You're still learning stuff on that. That's fine. Loudmouth's good for you. Yeah, we'll definitely have that. Have the mithril armor, that's fine. Are you still learning that? So that's fine. Okay, cool. Let's go look 
We need to buy some items. 100%. So, let's get that back up to 30, at least. That needs to be up, back up to 10. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Maybe I'll buy five of those. Got a tent still, that's fine. Have a couple of those. Ugh, might need some more potions. Oh no, we've got, we've got Dagger with us now. Dagger's a healer. That should be fine. What can we synthesize, if anything, please? Uh, oh, the Exploder's good. A Mage Masher and a Mithril Dagger. Okay, we'll go get it. Wait, are you learning anything off the thingy? You were, but you've learnt it. Okay. Mage Masher and a Mithril Dagger. Sorry, it's going to be a bit of shopping here where I just try and get myself as kitted out as possible. One Mage Masher, one Mithril Dagger. It's a great weapon name, isn't it? There's also a, uh, a YouTuber who goes by that name. Who's I like him. I think Mage Masher's pretty cool. Um, one Exploder, please. Right, so we've got one of those. A Silk Robe would be good. We need a Silk Shirt and a Bandana. Okay. Well, we can sell the ogre now. Which get, should get us a bit of money. Uh, what was it I needed for that? I wasn't paying any attention. Silk shirt and bandana. Got it. I think I sold my silk shirts earlier, which is annoying. Right. You. Sell the ogre. Where's the ogre gone? There it is. No, I went too far. Silk shirt. Do you sell silk shirts? You do! Perfect. So I'll have one bandana and one silk shirt. That's the lad. Mage Master 22. Well worth checking out. He does a lot of Final Fantasy stuff as well. So, uh. Would recommend. Desert boots. Somebody's got desert boots already. See, I could make another yellow scarf to make sure I can get a millionaire on somebody. I've already got glass buckle. They... I forget what they do. Earth. Oh, I can get one of that. What's that? Raises fire elemental attack. Well, that's not very good for her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's good enough, right? Uh, we'll get that. Coral ring is good, but we have already got one. A gold choker. Oh, wind damage reduction is good. Oh man, there's so many things I want here. I've already got a power belt on somebody else. I haven't got a needleful, so I can't do anything about that. I have to make some German ice boots to get that. I need desert boots to get that. God, there's a lot of things I need. Uh, maybe it'll be all right. A linen cuirass could get me a gold choker, which is probably worth it. Let's go do it. Hope everybody's, been, everybody's had a nice weekend so far, whatever you've been up to. Weather's been awful here in the UK, but that's pretty standard. Ah, you don't have a linen cuirass. That's annoying. Okay, I guess we can't do anything about that. Now, I'm trying to remember, how long is it till we see Steiner again? I think it is away. It's a while, so... Play some D&D. Nice. Were you were you playing or were you DMing, Frenchie? Um, what else can I possibly make? Can't do that. Can't do that. Or could technically do that, but... No, I can't do that, in fact, so that's fine. I've already got one of those. I think I've got everything I can realistically get at this point. I could get another silk robe. You were playing. Uh, first time playing a pre-written module, too. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, which module is it? You are letting stuff off that. Ah, that'll be fine. I'm sure that'll do. We're still saving some money. Still got 5,000... Gillow do. I might get some more potions, actually. Might as well stack up, stock up now while we've got the chance. Uh, 
Let's get ourselves up to 50, just for a nice round number. The Wild Beyond the Witch Light. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. You enjoying it so far? Was it your first session today, or was it, uh, or have you been doing it for a while? Is there anything else I want to buy while I'm here? I guess it might be even remotely useful. See, I could get something nice for the lads later on. I don't think I see them for a while, though. Oh, wait, I'm going to get Queener on board, though. Session three. Loving it so far. The group I'm playing with is great. Very different to us. In what... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, Frenchie. <laughs> Let's get one more Mithril Vest for Queener. Wait, can everybody... I'm sure I can get another one. And then maybe another bandana. And one more of those as well. That should keep everybody happy. Uh, I'll put it this way. Do you know the plot of the... I do not know the plot of the Wild Beyond the Witchlight at all, I'm afraid. I don't... I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm very bad with, um, like actual official D&D modules. So TLDR. Okay, spell it out to me. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I don't want to spend any more money. I think we're fine. So basically, now that she's conquered everywhere on this continent, uh, her greed pushes her to go and conquer the other continents as well, as is her want. Uh, yeah, so they're just talking about that as well, saying like, I wonder where we're going next. Uh, you sneak into the Witchlight Circus eight years ago and you lost something there, now it's eight years later and you have to return to try and get it back. Okay, that's an interesting hook. <coughs> Oh wait, I do think I do have a recollection of you talking about this now, actually, where you you get to choose what you left there, didn't you? As well, that's like part of the, your character's uh, hook. We're in session three, and everyone else in the party has to reveal what they lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm sat there like, yeah. See, see, why would you? I I love keeping secrets as a as a D and D player. I'm like, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna get the truth out of me, you're gonna have to really work for it. I'm not just going to be like, I was born king of the da -da -da's, and my my and my bloodline is to go and murder this person. We have one that lost her sister. Wow, that's that's quite a, that's quite a significant thing to lose. I lost his brother, my partner. Okay, I'm saying this is more than just like, oh, I lost my watch. This is like I lost a whole family member or or, or loved one. Wizard that lost the ability to read or write. That's interesting. And very problematic for a wizard, actually. That's a, that's a real... See, I love... I don't know why, but I love playing D&D characters who have, like, really significant drawbacks and issues that make them not unplayable, but, like, um, you know, just difficult. Oh, I, I don't even want to... I won't ask you what, you, uh, what you've done, Frenching. Just on the off chance that, like somehow somebody in your party sees this video and learns the truth but I trust based on what I know of your D&D &D character background how you do your backstories it's going to be something significantly awful <laughs> world map hooray he gave it to us we didn't steal it he's a very generous regent we like him Right, Oniva. You went meta. Oh no. <laughs> what uh what um class are you playing, Frenchie? Brunette's her pants. Uh, that does seem to be the rule. I think you might have called it. Is that I don't even know what terminology you would use that. Harist? 
more likely just a design choice, but... Just mixes it up a little bit, doesn't it? Twilight Cleric. Very fairy tales orientated. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. The plot, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't played a I haven't played a cleric since your campaign, Frenchie. So I do like clerics, though. I think they're very, I think they're kind of like underrated. People see them like, I think see, people choose to avoid them because they think they're just going to have to do. Yeah, poor old Dareth. People just avoid them because they think they have to um, just do healing nonstop. But they're far more versatile than that. Do you have anything different that I haven't bought from the shop? I don't think you do. Oh, you do. Oh, you were holding out. Oh man. Okay, I can get one of those. Oh, you cheeky swine. Well, that'll have to do. Auto potion's not that. But yeah, those are better. I'll get those on. Damn it. Well, never mind. Uh, let's make sure everybody else is fully sorted out now. It's fine, you're learning that, 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 that. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so you don't have to learn that anymore, that's good. Metal arm, that's good. So you're still learning... I still want you to learn Fira off that, so we're going to have to stick with that for the time being. And you're pretty much kitted out now. Oh, you could get some good stuff off that, though. Do I need Ramu that much? Probably not. Take it. And so that's learning life. But we still need to learn silence now, so I know, so it's fine. Uh, I went more down the line of God's finds lost, God finds lost soul and help, so it's not blind devotion. I did take healing because we don't have a healer, but it's not just healing. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If you're a cleric, you can still be... You can still do healing. It's just that it doesn't have to be your... Be all end all. It's not like you use every turn just looking for who to heal. Let's go get Queena back in the party. Because we miss our girl. Oh, come on. I just got their game. Be cool. Fine, we'll do it your way. Now well, these things again. Luckily they're not as much of an issue as they were at one point. It's a very RP heavy campaign too, so very little combat, so you have to really get really creative with yourselves. Yeah, I I will say, like, this might sound uh, controversial and everybody gets what they want out of out of D D, but like I find combat the least interesting aspect of D&D. &D. I, I much prefer the uh, the role-playing and the storytelling elements of it. Uh, don't get me wrong, a good combat is fantastic, but uh, <laughs> but I, I'm far more in it for the, for the for the story and the character interactions. That's where my, uh, that's where my, my bread and butter is. Queena! She's alive! Love a good combat, but RP is everything. I agree, 100%. See, she survived that whole tree explosion. And now we can go frog hunting again. So I just need to leave and come back in again. Oh, first of all, though, I can equip her with some stuff, some doodads. You still don't have a better fork, do you? I don't give a fork. <laughs> oh, God, I'm tired. Uh, Mithra armor for you. I guess... Uh, well, that'll be your defense up the most to have one of those. A millionaire's still good. Queen of the true queen returns, exactly. Uh, I still get PTSD sweats from the civil war we had in campaign two. But also, there's no, you've got to have a good civil war moment in a D&D &D campaign. It's how the characters grow. It's how they develop, how they learn to, uh, to interact. Let's catch some frogs. Because we'll get given more free stuff if we can catch enough of them. But see, because we left the golden frog behind, they've repopulated far quicker than they would have done otherwise. Hap! Mine. Hap! Mine. Come on, little froggies. 
Come out of the water. Come and play. Come and play with Auntie Queena. Come on. Do it. Ha! Ha! We're going to go for 10 today because. Hip. 10 gets. Oh, wait. 9 gets us something. Even better. <laughs> Re education camps being one of the more. I, that was entirely on. Uh, on our boy, I, I that was that was their um, decision. <laughs> uh, I think that's good. We need we want to leave two in the golden frog anyway, so that's fine. We're good here. We'll be back for more in the future. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, silk robe doesn't really help us out very much. That's not. Yeah, we've already got a bunch of silk robes. I guess we could sell... Oh, mind you, Silk Robe's actually better than her Mithril Vest. Oh, wait, no, Silk Robe is good. We just got a Silk... Oh, what am I talking about? Silk Robe is a good thing. Doi. Uh, we'll hold on to that for... How close are you? Eh, you've got a bit to go. Mind you, Water Potion's also good. It was a slip of the tongue, and we never forget it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, cool, I think that's all good. Also, I love this little section where uh, Queen of Smells Frogs, and being a frog lover, she's like, this way! And this is the definition of, like, act first, think later, which goes along with your mentality, Frenchie, as you've said on numerous occasions. She's like, frogs! And then this one gets away, she's like, hold! Run away. Yeah, they sure do. The Queen Pan's energy is real, and I love it. <laughs> right, we're going to go in. I think this is where shit gets a little bit complicated. Is there a safe Moogle in here? I can't remember, and I don't think there is. So in actual fact, what I might just do... Yeah, because there's a couple of... There's like back-to-back -back issues here. And I would rather save before that. Just because it can get complicated. So we'll be back here in a minute. Can I save with you? No. I didn't think I could, but hey ho. Come here, Savingtons, Mooglington. So you remember the uh, the hot bounty hunter? We have to fight her in a minute. And she can be problematic. So it's probably better to do the save now. So that we hopefully don't get smashed by her. Uh, the thumbnail for your first FF9 video of <laughs> me. Yeah, well, I was like, I, I, I managed to capture that moment of uh, Zidane's surprise Pikachu face, and I was like, yeah, that's that's, that's working. <laughs> that's going straight on there. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, we have to outrun this thing, which can be difficult. I'm going to try my best to try and avoid him. Uh, run faster. Okay, we're fine. One screen down. Yeah, we're good. He's very Indiana Jones, I agree. Oh. And we're across. But yeah, the game's the game's a bit cruel here. You go straight from that kind of like escape sequence straight into the boss fight with no chance to like menu or save or anything. <laughs> 
I like that Zidane's like on guard and he's like straight away. He's like, hey, <laughs> stop flirting with her. <laughs> yeah, Zidane did totally crash into uh, Queena there. It's entirely on him. Right, we will have to fight her, I'm afraid. It's an incredible axe she's got. But she's also quite tough, this, this lass, Lani. So uh, I'll do my best to try and win on the first occasion, but she's no pushover. Do that first of all, just to try and and maybe focus up a little bit. Really, more fireworks? There's no way. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. That is a nasty move, and I wish you would not do that. I think you've got Protect as well. Okay. Everybody has their rolls. Oh, you missed. Fantastic. Had enough yet? No, we're good. I wonder how much I can tell my house around where I should move. Somewhere where there aren't fireworks or gunshots, probably. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Hmm, error sounds bad. Are you going to survive this? You are. Her combat stance moves, yeah. It's very, um... Seductive? Is that the right word? <laughs> Why aren't we giving up? I don't know, it's a real mystery, right? Real confusing, like... Okay, you need to heal yourself. Again. Right, VV. Hit. Early twerking attempt. Possibly. This game was way ahead of its time in other ways. <laughs> She's getting annoyed though, which is good. Although that's her nasty... Ah, oh, you missed. Wow, you were having a terrible fight, love. Well done, Vivi. Okay, so you're deciding to go for other people now, are you? There you go, that was easy. Wow, I've never seen her, like, really throw it like that. <laughs> what a drag. Lani, you should be on our team rather than Armorant. You're way cooler. Uh, let's see now. Heal you up. Everybody else is looking pretty peachy after that fight, though. I don't think we've got any AP for that, which is annoying. Right, down into the fossil room. <laughs> we have snacks and Vivi and Queena. We're the real heroes. Oh, I love the mu the fossil room music is fantastic. Now the thing is here, normally you have to do like a lot of kind of diversions to go and collect all the treasures, but since I'm not collecting any treasures, it should be a fairly straight run to get out of here. Let's just get through here. I think there's a save point through here. There is. 
Uh, so we can do excavation here, but this kind of goes along my lines of like, uh, we'd be stealing from the ground. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, the gargants are back. So basically it's like a puzzle here involving how you change the water flow to make the gargants go in different directions. But we're going to worry about that in just a second. Oh. Stilt skin! We will happily buy whatever you've got, my friend. Perfect. Thank you. Support small businesses. You've got a shop as well. Not that we need much that you're selling. So that's okay. Right. I know it's a little bit of a shorter stream than usual, but as I said, I'm not feeling tippity top. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to call the stream there for tonight. But we've, we've made some progress. We've got Queena back in the party. And we've made quite short work of Lani, which is a nice change of pace. But yeah, we are going to call it there for today. Good progress. Exactly, Frenchie. So uh, thank you very, very much for coming along, as always. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I don't think there'll be a stream tomorrow. Honestly, I think I just need to try and sleep and recover a little bit. Um, so the next stream will probably be on <coughs> on Thursday uh, at 7pm. Uh, if anybody fancies joining, thank you very much. There's a link, as always, Frenchy, thank you very much for posting it. Uh, there is a link to my YouTube channel. Um, there's videos of previous Final Fantasy challenges and all the videos I do, all the streams I do end up as videos on there as well. Uh, I'm playing Chrono Trigger uh, in my spare time, what well, little I have of my spare time as well. So there's videos of my first ever playthrough of Chrono Trigger as well, if anybody's interested in that. Uh, and yeah, I think that'll do. Uh, I'm going to go lie down. <laughs> Basically, that's the point I've got to. Uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, whatever you're up to. Uh, yeah, sleep would be good. Uh, go enjoy the rest of your weekends, whatever you're up to. And I will see you all on Thursday. Uh, Ta-ra for now, and thanks for watching. See you later.